Hello, this is John Donnellan with JD Website Development, and we are here once again talking about WordPress, the Divi theme, and today we'll be addressing an issue with WooCommerce integration. You may have noticed that starting with WooCommerce 3.0, WooCommerce built in a feature for um, product pages to have a zoom effect on the product images. And it's a really cool effect, very useful. Um, you, I'll show you what it looks like here. I've got a page pulled up here. So this is the product page. When you hover over the image, it zooms in, allows you to kind of take a closer look at the product. But what we've discovered is that in some cases, you don't really want that effect. For example, this is a, a web hosting product it's a subscription product. There's really not a, a product image. The image is just there on the page to style it up a little bit. So there's no point in having a hover effect or a light box effect or anything like that when you click on the image. The image is more or less just there for uh, appearance. So today we're going to talk about how to get rid of that effect when it's not needed. Now, I've looked all through the settings in WooCommerce and I cannot find a setting to turn it off and on. So I'm assuming that it's not built in. If you know that it is built in and I'm just overlooking it, feel free to leave a comment below. I would love to know that. But there's a pretty simple workaround that um, I've been able to discover here. So let's go ahead and get into the code. Now, if you inspect the code here, you're going to notice that there is a image with a class of zoom IMG and that's the image that's um, it's hidden until you hover over it and then it's displayed on hover so that's what really what we want to get rid of so it's, it's this right here so what we want to do is we want to take this selector and just apply um, display none to that and that will take care of that issue so let me show you how to do that if I go into my theme customizer by clicking on customizer and then I go down to the bottom at that selector and then I'm just going to apply display none I need to add the important declaration to override the setting and now you'll notice that when I hover over there's no zoom effect however there's still a light box effect that's also built in if I click on the image it does not do it inside the customizer here but if I were to click on the image it would open up in a light box so we also would like to hide that so I'll show you the code for that as well. I'm going to paste that code in here and we're just going to hide these pointer events from the selector and that takes care of that issue. So now I publish that. Alright so we see now that we have no zoom in. I click on it there's no light box but what you're going to notice is that now there's a lot of space here a lot of extra white space and that's because this space was reserved for that zoom in effect so really what I would like to do is tighten that up a little bit so that's pretty easy to do as well if I go back to my theme customizer and it'll take a second to load I got a lot of windows open here but what we're basically going to do is we're going to reassign the the width to those divs. Right now there's they're set at about a 50-50 spacing and all we really need to do is adjust that. So if I go in here to my theme customizer go to the bottom here I've got uh, this code in another window. I'll grab that paste it in and now you see how that tightened right up and you can adjust these values 
I just went with 3565, uh, the image at 35. But you could play around with that and get whatever looks best for your site. And now if I go ahead and publish and exit, I should have a nice product page without the zoom effect and without the light box effect for my product image and it looks spectacular. So that's how you take care of getting rid of that um, that zoom in effect that came with WooCommerce. Very useful in most cases but in some cases the type of product that you're selling doesn't necessarily lend itself to having a, a product zoom or a light box. So that's how you take care of that. What I'm going to do is post the code that I used in the comment section. And if you like this, if it was useful for you, uh, give me a like below and add to the comments. Again, this is John Donnellan with JD Website Development. Our website is jdwebsitedevelopment.com. And uh, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you.